Hello, this is Eric and not Baus, and today I'm going to do a review of the Rye Mini. But this one is the only air mouse I have and uh, remote control for my computer that actually has been reliable. So let's see about it here. Well, it uses two AAA batteries. It has a USB dongle. So to use this, I'm going to plug this into my computer. Simply plug and play. Makes it a very simple to use design. So I got a USB port here. So the i7 Rye Mini, how does this work? Well, it's all a matter of if it's an air cursor, that's right off the bat. But let's say if I want to turn the air cursor off. I press this little thing that looks like a mouse jiggly back and forth. And now I turn off the cursor. And on the screen, it stays in the same spot. Turn it back on, press the button again. Let's say if I want to right click, so it'll bring up the little menu where you choose options. Right here, you can now see I have that menu up. So if I want to select something, I just use the air cursor. And let's say if I want to press personalize, what I did is I just press the OK button. So to select, I'm just going to go on here so you can see me doing it in person. I'm going to press OK. And now, of course, it goes that link. So it's a very simple mouse cursor. Of course, doing it like this is kind of more difficult because you normally when you use this, you want to sit back and use it as if you're using it in a horizontal plane, just like so. It's like where it's natural. If I want to go to Google search, I'm just going to press this little home button. So let's do that. So now I'm in YouTube and I want to go down, scroll down and see what's happening further down the page. I press page down. Let's say if I want to see what's happening back where I was, I press page up. Or let's say if I want to watch something, um, let's say if I want to see Linus Tech Tips. Well, I can open a new tab if I want to, if I want to stay on YouTube so I can keep on checking the rest of the videos. Then I press OK here to open a new tab. And now I can just select this. So if I were watching a movie, I can sit back, relax, I can either, of course, click on it like you would click on your mouse to play and pause it, or I can press play and pause my videos. So if you're watching a movie or whatever and just want to relax and watch a movie, this is something very, very simple. So if I press the OK button now, right up in the top, it's not going to do anything except select down here, or play pause the video right here off the side. However, I do have a play pause button, but I press that play pause button. Well, it's going to work no matter where I am on the screen. So great thing for sitting back and enjoying a movie with, or just simply listening to music. And I want to turn the volume up and down. So the volume up and down, all controls through that remote. Simple way to simply do that. Say I'm going to bed and I just want to relax and oh, the computer's on. Let's press that power button. Turn it off. It puts your computer to standby. So you'll be right where you left off. This one doesn't have the picture on the top that mine has. Mine says i7. I think they must have changed that because, well, it does sound like an Intel processor with that i7 on it. The name of the company is Rytec and is based in Shenzhen, China. So as we can see the specs here, 2.4 gigahertz operating voltage, three volts, which makes sense because each battery I believe is 1.5 volts times two is three volts, okay. We see the weight, 65 grams. So it works with a smart TV, mini PC, Android or Raspberry Pi, PC, Windows, Mac, Linux, consoles, PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, a tablet being Android or Windows. And this actually required on my Windows 10, no software interface. So a flash, blue flashing light, if the connector is not in here, the interface saying it's not connected. So the Rye Mini, would I recommend it? Of course I would. This is simple remote control for the computer. And this is what I actually use myself. I have the Edifier 1850 dB. And the remote control that comes with it is one of those what it, bubble button remotes and it's not a very good interface. This works a lot better. I have not had problems with it not working. The quality is actually quite decent. It doesn't have much weight to it. It has a little bit, doesn't feel cheap. I can 
play around with it, it's not gonna, it just doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. This has USB interface as well. It works good, oh, I guess, as a laser interface for your cat. Uh, cats love this. Uh, for anything else, it's pretty much uh, good for volume, and that's a temporary remote, cheap. For instance, this one stopped functioning as it should after several months of use, and when it was plugged in long term, so that's a thing. And this one has limited functionality. i7 Rye Mini. I'll try to leave a link below here, at least in Canada. You can search doing the same keywords on Amazon, and that's where I purchased this. And of course, as always, I bought it with my own money. Have yourselves a wonderful day. This is not BIOS, Tech and Hardware.